Owning a franchise is a great way to be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. It allows you to skip those first five or 10 years of figuring out how to put systems in place and instead go right to running your business. But before you're able to actually run the business, you have to be able to fund the business. And that's what we're here to talk about today. The three main ways you can fund a franchise are through a small business loan, private equity, or equity crowdfunding. Small business loans are the most traditional way to fund your franchise. And what most people don't know is that most small business loans for franchises are actually guaranteed by the Small Business Administration, or SBA. The SBA backs loans for franchises because they can see the history that they have and the predictability of it to be successful. Because these loans are guaranteed by the SBA, most banks will actually give you a lower interest rate than you would for a traditional business loan. Thanks to programs like the SBA's 7A loan, you're able to have longer repayment periods, which can be very useful as you're trying to ramp up your business. The downside for small business loans for franchises is typically how you get them. Not only do you have to have a very strong credit history, you also typically need to have significant income and net worth requirements. Not only will you have to provide collateral for these loans, you're also going to have to pay a fee based on that collateral. SBA loans also have caps, which means they might not always cover all the costs that you need to get the franchise going. You need to be sure to think about the entire project cost, including that working capital that gets you from doors open to profitability. Not all banks provide SBA-backed loans, so because of that, you typically need to go through a broker to find one that's going to suit you. Now, while this can have lower interest rates, they may come with excessively high fees that you need to watch out for. The reason for this is within the last year, the SBA used to have what's called the registry. The registry showed all the different franchise brands out there and how likely they were to actually be successful with that loan. But the SBA stopped this program. And because of this, you have more banks that are leaving the small business loan side for franchising. So you need to make sure that you're exploring all your different options and considering all of the costs, not just what your monthly payment is. With SBA loans being harder to achieve, you need to be watchful for what costs can be like both when you're closing an SBA loan as well as what your monthly payments are like. Make sure you understand all the different factors that go into your total cost of the loan. In order to get started, gather all your financial documents, your credit history, your income statements, and net worth. And then you want to find an SBA approved lender. You can explore different options for SBA lenders by going to the SBA's website or check out a lending broker that's going to help you find these different ones and shop your loan out to different banks such as Guidant or Benetrends. Private equity is another way in which you can go get capital for your franchise expansion. Private equity comes with many benefits. It can help you grow to a very large system. Some of these are hundreds or thousands of locations. A strong private equity group can come with other benefits as well, from credibility to getting the right lease for your business, to actual advice on operations and how you're going to grow that business. One of the drawbacks to private equity is the size and scale of the investment. Typically, private equity won't get involved unless they can deploy 30, 40, or $50 million checks. Because of that, you also need to be a very qualified operator that has deep experience in the space and a plan in place. Private equity also requires significant returns for their investors. This may require them to actually be pretty aggressive with their revenue targets, which, although sounds great, this could make your actual mission backseat and the care for employees take a backseat to the profit of the business. To receive a private equity investment, you need to develop an extremely solid business plan that includes not only your plan of operation, but also how you're going to successfully exit the business. Next, you need to get into the view of those private equity companies. Now, although franchising is a very big area, there may only be a few dozen private equity groups that are focused specifically on franchising. I recommend you network within different industry groups and go attend conferences like the Restaurant Finance and Development Conference, or RFDC. Finally, you can explore equity crowdfunding for your franchise. Equity crowdfunding allows you to put your business in front of thousands or tens of thousands of investors that are interested in investing in your business. Now, these investors, they're not private equity typically, they are individuals, they people who trade stocks or invest in real estate, but they wanna diversify into something like franchise ownership. However, they don't want to manage the day-to-day -day of it. An additional benefit to equity crowdfunding is the crowd effect. By having investors that are also your customers, you're growing your business even more than just a bank loan's gonna do with capital. If you think about it, if you live in Chicago and you invest into a Chicago franchise, you're gonna be a customer there whether it's somewhere you eat, get your oil changed, or go work out. And not only will you be a customer, you're gonna make sure your friends are customers too. So equity crowdfunding can be a great way to both get capital, 
increase your revenue once you get launched, and remain your own boss. And at Franchise, you're able to do all of those different things. So make sure you check out equity crowdfunding as one of the ways that you can fund your franchise. You can visit us at Franchise.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the channel.